Hey everybody, today is July 18th, 2020. It is 1900 or 7 p.m. I'm on the highway again, on the road again. All right, everybody, how's everybody doing today? How's everybody's Saturday doing? Hope everybody's having a great day. I hope you're all motivated. Man, it's been motivated. I wanted to get on here after I got my shower and I was on the road and heading back. Uh, did a, had a great day with the uh, weigh-ins for the uh, Quincy Derby. I hope everybody got their kids out there. If not, let us know so we can actually get your kids in. So what are you doing today? What are you doing tonight with your kids? Are you playing board games with them? Are you taking a walk? I understand it's still about 93 degrees outside right now, so you want to be careful with that. You know, uh, are you going across state lines? Maybe to Missouri, to Iowa. Maybe you're going over to Indiana. Uh, if you're in the Midwest anyway. Like I said, let me know what you're doing today. How's everybody doing? Did you go to church tonight? Going to church tomorrow. Now, we do have uh, Jeanette Geise's uh, funeral tomorrow. Uh, beautiful lady. Awesome lady. And she's going to be very, very missed. Uh, she, there's a lot of stuff she can do that no one will ever be able to make up for. And uh, tomorrow we're going to give her full honors. And like I said, she's a Marine wife. And she's just a good friend. She's just a really, really good lady. And, you know, she's a mom and an aunt. And from California too which is even surprising no I'm just kidding I got California friends I love them to death so anyway tonight I want you to focus on your family focus on the people you haven't talked to in a while you know call up your friends your relatives you know tell them hi okay maybe call a family member you haven't talked to in a long time or a friend you haven't talked to in a long time I think this Monday I'm gonna be calling my buddy Mark Pace and you know you know I owe Tim Redding they're all over in Florida uh, I missed one of my calls with Richard the other day because I've been doing the, the derby and just my time just keeps slipping away from me. It's really, really hard for me to get things done with time slipping away. But we only have so much time in a day. And that's the thing for today. I want you to understand, we only have so much time. Everybody puts everything off till tomorrow. The problem is tomorrow's not promised to us. You know, don't put off tomorrow what you can do right now today, you know. I know a lot of you want to sit down and sit back and relax just like you did every other night. Instead of doing that tonight, you know, maybe go to a neighbor's house and say, hey, I just want to say hi, how you doing? Or hey, you guys want to have a have a beer tonight, you know, over at our house, or why don't you come over, we come over there, let's play a board game or a card game, you know? Maybe do something like that. Tomorrow's Sunday, maybe invite some friends to go to church with you, even if they're a different religion. You know, that's what we're forgetting right now, is how that human contact happens, okay? What we need to do to be better people every day. Okay, me, I love my daughter all the time. No matter what, I take her to different events. We do as much as we can in the little time that we have. You know, I lost my mom when I was 12 years old, 11, 12, 1990, however old that would make me. And you know, I really learned that time is precious. You know, we only have so much of it. And then like every year we had, I, there's different people that are gonna die in our lives every year. There's nothing we can do about that. But there's also people that have accidents and mistakes and, you know, what we need to do is we need to start learning to do things today and not put them off. You know, people want success in their life. They always say they want success, but you know what? Success starts from home. Success starts with you, what you do for other people. You know, if you think that it's what other people can do for you that's going to make you successful, you are very, very wrong. You have to help enough people get to the top so they can pull you up. And everything we do in life is gonna revolve around how we can help other people, okay? You know, think about some of the greatest inventions in life. It was how many people they could help. You know, everywhere from Microsoft Windows to running water. I mean, if you could help somebody, you can have success. Maybe it might be teaching them how to read. I know a lot of teachers, they may not make very much, but they feel they're successful because they were able to teach kids how to read and write those kids later on can go on and they may discover or invent something all because they had that one teacher in their life that told them how to do something a little bit differently. Maybe that, that one teacher or that mom or that dad that never gave up on their, their little boy or little girl and you know what, no matter what anybody else said and all of a sudden they've got a lot of success because they're helping a lot of people now because somebody helped them. Now why do I say it like this? is because I see so many people going through routines every day. They're not living outside the box. They're not doing anything differently 
to change their stars, to change who they are. They're not doing anything differently because they're so afraid of the unknown, so afraid of what's gonna happen that it becomes ordinary and life becomes boring to them. And all of a sudden it's like, well, I'm perfectly happy with doing the same old thing, the same old way, and the same old way of doing it. When they're actually not, they're actually miserable on the inside. So every day, live outside the box. Every day, push yourself. Every day, do something that'll scare you. Do something that'll make you laugh. Do something that'll make you cry. Do something that makes you uncomfortable. Because sometimes the only way to get out of the land of comfort is you gotta be uncomfortable. And if you can do it, you'll get there. For today though, I want each and every one of you to know this. You matter. You're important. For all my Marine Corps brothers and sisters out there, Hey, head up, buttercup. You can do this. You got this. For all my military brothers and sisters, you got this. For all my friends and family, I love you. You matter to me. The world is your oyster. Make it the pearl. Make your life the pearl inside that oyster. And you can do it. Anyway, guys, I got to get going. I'm on the road. I'm going to start singing here in a little bit. And I don't want to blow up Facebook because, you know, everybody loves my singing. But for right now, know this. I pray for you every day. You matter to me. Matter to somebody in your life. And know this, matter to yourself. All right, everybody. Talk at you later. God bless. See you later.